Hey everybody, my name is Drew Glover and I'm the Director of Online Learning here at SAU. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes to welcome everybody back from spring break. I know that we are learning in new and different times. Um, so now more than ever, it's important that we act as a campus community and help each other along the way. And I know that a lot of you are going to be taking online classes or experiencing um, remote remote learning. Um, I think there's a big difference between a fully developed online class and some of what we're doing in this transition. So I kind of want you all to think of this as a journey. Um, all faculty, staff, and students are learning new things now. Faculty are learning how to deliver their content in new ways. Students are having to learn how to access that content or find find ways to get online or to be able to take their tests and submit their assignments. And, and, e and even our SAU staff, they're all having to find ways to do the things that they do on campus or provide the same services that they would on campus to students and faculty and staff online. Um, so we're all in this together. Um, the, and part of the reason I'm so confident in this is that I know that our faculty and staff, we're, we're all committed to delivering the best possible experience we can, despite the circumstances. So I have a couple of quick tips for you um, to help you get going with this transition. Um, the first is, it's about communication and troubleshooting. Make sure you talk to your teachers, not just about what's going um, poorly, but let them know what's, what they're doing well and what's working and what's not working. Um, like I said, we're all learning new things, so they may have to do, they may have some trial and error, and we may have some oops moments. Um, everybody will. Um, so just remember that. So communicate with your teachers, be in touch with them. Let them know if you can't find something or if something's not working the way you expected, just so they, they have a heads up and so it's not a surprise later on. And then, you know, if you know other people using Blackboard, it's similar. You can ask. You may even try Googling, but you also have support on campus. Um, so you can email online learning at saumag.edu Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. That'll come to our office and we can help um, students that way. Um, we can do that by phone, by email, or Blackboard Collaborate or some other tool. You can also use our 24-7 um, Blackboard support, which is available through the Help tab in Blackboard. And it's also on the website in a couple of different places to help you find it. They're going to be great for late nights and early mornings if you're working on things because um, they're going to be awake and they have people available. And so depending on the time of day um, or uh, the day of the week, you can chat, um, talk to them by phone or by email. It's a kind of a help desk. You submit a ticket. Um, so the big thing is communication. Make sure you're you're letting everybody know what's going well, what's not going well. If it's something that's outside of the class or not a technical problem and you need help from some other area campus, be sure to reach out to them. Um, we're still trying to figure out how to extend those services to everybody and, and we want to make sure that we help our students as best as we can. So finally, my last piece of advice is dig around the resources. I think if you spend just a little bit of time looking at Blackboard or how some Blackboard courses are organized, you'll feel comfortable kind of navigating whatever your teachers are able to set up, especially these first few weeks. Um, everybody has access to the getting getting to know Blackboard course. It's not required. It's just there for information. So you can dig around, see how some of the tools work or how faculty may organize their course. Finally, I believe in our faculty, staff, and our student body. We're mule riders. We got this.